This is quite possibly a migration or emergence panel. Is this anthromorph pointing the way? Nampoweep is thought to be the route the Anasazi used to access the Grand Canyon. Is this a mother of animals panel with a birthing female on the left? It's thought that a snake shape without a forked tongue represents lightning. An outline cross can represent Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent representing the morning star or Venus. Another emergence symbol. The Hopi say you emerge from another world into this world. Is this a shaman with power lines emanating from him, or are these spirit helpers? My first impression is that this is a parrot for the figure on the left, and there's a coyote on the right, a very common motif. This could also be representing a prison or some type of enclosure. Are we looking here at a, the recording of a cosmic event? The honeycomb shape could possibly signify the root of the squash vine. Coyote, dog, wolf, or clan symbol. This panel has so many images. Is the central figure a shaman with a headdress or a praying shaman? There seems to be markers and enclosures. A frog is to the right. The shape on the left is totally filled in and so different from the others. This could be a female representation with hair coils. Another mountain sheep. This multi-armed form is reminiscent of Laxmi, the Hindu goddess of good luck with many hands. Snake-like shapes and wavy lines can represent energy, both physical and spiritual. Corn symbols or centipede shapes, you decide. This is quite possibly a spirit being, but it seems to have an outstretched wing, so it could be a parrot as well. The rock art here is all petroglyphs, as opposed to pictographs. Nice shaman with headdress. This looks like a bird in flight. Or could this be a rain cloud? On the left we have a human or a corn symbol. Is this shaman rising towards a nether? Usually things that are put on their sides is indicative of death. These petroglyphs are so visible they look as if they were painted on. Front-facing anthromorphs with ear extensions remind me of the butler wash site. Perhaps the shaman emerged into this reality. This looks to me like a close encounter with an anteater after a night of too much peyote. Maybe they had a sense of humor. And there's the shaman hallucinating through the various stages. What looks like lightning motifs could represent snakes or the location of rivers. I wonder if they could also indicate earth energy lines such as ley lines. Locals call Nampawee Billy Goat Canyon because of the large number of mountain sheep in the rock art. A man seems to be praying above the mountain sheep, perhaps a blessing for the hunt. A double-headed sheep usually indicates birth. The one-horned figure is almost universally indicative of superior power and talent. What's interesting here is that there's another small figure inside the belly, so this could be a female goddess figure. A human shape-shifting? or art that imagines humans as animals. Here you can see how the Indian used the pecking method to carve the petroglyphs. The rock is volcanic, so the images are not as clear or precise as sandstone carvings can be. This looks like a female form and a swastika with spirals, which signifies friendly or peacemaking for the Hopi people. Nice bear paw. The sheer bearing figure with a horn is probably a guardian warrior for the underworld, and he's engaged in combat with a snake. On this panel, there's a double-headed human and a double-headed sh mountain sheep. This usually indicates giving birth. Could this be a geyser eruption or a source of water indicator? The large humanoid figure looks like it might be in motion. Love the small foot. Looks like a moose with footprints below probably indicates an animal path. Just the beautiful smell of sage around the black basalt lava flow rocks. Nampaweep means foot canyon in Paiute. Most of the major prehistoric cultures known to have inhabited this area over the past 10,000 years left symbols on the rocks here. Archaic, Anasazi, and Paiute glyphs are all intermingled here. Attempts at interpreting rock art have been made by many researchers, but they don't know the meaning of these glyphs. The symbols probably serve different purposes for their makers, from religious clan symbols to doodling to noting calendars or events of importance. Animals with long emanating rays as well as dumbbell shapes 
may indicate the direction to travel to another village where there's a good hunt or a large body of water. Under certain light conditions, you'd never see this snake glyph under that ledge. On this panel, you have scraped shapes over top of what might be dancing figures or a dancing shaman appearing to be in a trance, emanating rays of power. Why do some of these panels have so many glyphs, while others only have one or a few glyphs? Why are some figures filled while others are scratched or outlined? Things to ponder.